The Biography of Warren Buffett It's time to shine the spotlight on the life of the granddaddy of them all when it comes to investments. Warren Buffett and his conglomerate, Berkshire Hathaway. As you will expect, we can't do justice to the lustrous story of this great man in one video. Therefore, in this video, we present the first part of Warren Buffett's story. What did it take for a folksy, middle-class lad from Omaha to become the outstandingly successful capitalist that we all know today? Discover the reasons for him, like Michael Jordan, retiring twice at the top of his game and returning to reestablish himself stronger than he used to be. Find answers to these and more as we dive into the life of Warren Buffett. While you're at it, for more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on post notifications to be alerted whenever we drop new videos. We can't wait to have you here as one of our very own. Back to Omaha, who is Warren Buffett? Known as the Oracle of Omaha, Buffett is renowned for his investment acumen and resounding success. Warren Buffett is one of the wealthiest and most reputable businessmen globally. Right from a very young age, Warren Buffett demonstrated keen business mastery. In 1956, he established Buffett Partnership Limited, and by 1965, he had taken ownership of Berkshire Hathaway. Warren Buffett organized and spearheaded the expansion and advancement of an empire with holdings in the media, insurance, food, beverage, and energy industries. Having put in the work, Buffett soon became one of the world's richest men and a distinguished philanthropist. His Early Years Born on August 30, 1930 in Omaha, Nebraska, Warren Edward Buffett is the son of Howard Buffett a stockbroker and a U.S. congressman, and Leela Stahl Buffett, who worked as a homemaker. As the second of three children and the only male child, Warren Buffett discovered very early in his life his love for and his abilities concerning business and finance. According to most of his friends and colleagues at the time, it was clear that this young lad was a mathematical spectacle as he could add huge columns of numbers in his head without any aid. This is one talent he occasionally flaunts in his later years. Young Warren Buffett often paid visits to his father at his stock brokerage shop. Whenever he was there, he would always write the stock prices on the office board. Much to the amazement of everyone, this young lad will go on to make the first investment at age 11. He bought three shares of City Service Preferred at $38 per share, although the stock soon dropped to only $27. Even after the drop, Warren Buffett held on tenaciously to his shares until they reached $40. With the shares at $40, he sold them at a slight profit, a decision he would regret as city services shot up to almost $200 a share later on. Warren Buffett later referred to this experience as an early lesson he learned about patience in investing. Early Entrepreneurial Investments Buffett was operating his enterprise as a paper boy by the age of 13. He also sold his horse racing tip sheet alongside. That same year, he filed his first tax return, where he claimed his bike as a $35 tax deduction. Warren Buffett's father got elected into the U.S. House of Representatives in 1942, and to be closer to the congressman's new office, his family had to relocate to Fredericksburg, Virginia. There, Buffett attended Woodrow Wilson High School in Washington, D.C where he proceeded with his search for new ways to make money. During his days in high school, he partnered with his friend to buy a used pinball machine that cost $25 at the time. They installed this machine in a barber shop for business purposes. In only a few months, the profits helped them buy other machines. It only took Buffett a few months to have machines installed in three separate locations. Eventually, he sold the business for $1,200. His educational journey. By the time Warren Buffett turned 16, he had enrolled at the University of Pennsylvania to study business. Two years later, Buffett would move on to the University of Nebraska to complete his degree. He finished college at age 20, and by then, he had amassed almost $10,000 from his boyhood enterprises. Moving on, in 1951, he obtained his master's degrees in economics from Columbia University. At Columbia University, he was a student under economist Benjamin Graham, 
would later be a significant influence in his life. After that, he furthered his education at the New York Institute of Finance. Warren Buffett confessed to taking most of his insights in his early years from Graham and his 1949 book, The Intelligent Investor. One of such early moves was selling securities for Buffett Falcon Company for three years. After this, he joined his mentor firm, Graham Newman Corp., as an analyst for two years. Introducing Berkshire Hathaway. It all began in 1956 in his hometown of Omaha. That year was when Buffett established Buffett Partnership Limited. With the help of the strategies he adopted from Graham, he successfully recognized undervalued firms and became a millionaire before he was 30 years old. One such firm Buffett valued was a textile business with the name Berkshire Hathaway. Right from the early 1960s, Buffett began amassing stock in Berkshire Hathaway. By 1965, it was time for him to take up the realms of the business. Not minding the success of Buffett Partnership, its founder dissolved the company in 1969. It later became known that Buffett did this to concentrate his efforts on the growth and expansion of Berkshire Hathaway. Buffett phased out its textile manufacturing division, instead developing the firm by acquiring assets in media, the Washington Post, insurance, Geico, and oil, Exxon. With immense success to show for this, the Oracle of Omaha even managed to turn supposedly poor investments into gold. A good example is his acquisition of scandal-plagued Solomon Brothers in 1987. Also, Berkshire Hathaway made a substantial investment in Coca-Cola, which made Buffett become director of the company from 1989 until 2006. Then, this investment tycoon served as director of Graham Holdings Company, the Gillette Company, and Citigroup Global Markets Holdings. His Latter Days and Philanthropy A statement from Buffett in June 2006 confirmed his plans to allot his whole fortune to a charity cause. 85% of his fortune will go to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. With this donation, Warren Buffett made what is presently the largest act of charitable giving in United States history. Then came 2010, when Buffett and Gates declared openly that they had established the Giving Pledge campaign. This was to enlist more wealthy individuals into these philanthropic causes. On a sad note, in 2012, Buffett revealed that he had been diagnosed with prostate cancer, and he started undergoing radiation treatment in July. He successfully completed his treatment in November to the joy of his many admirers and prodigies. That health scare did little to restrict the octogenarian, who yearly ranks near the top of the Forbes World Billionaires list. In just after one year, in February 2013, Buffett acquired private equity group 3G Capital with H.J. Hines for $28 billion. Other additions to the Berkshire Hathaway coffers included battery maker Duracell and Kraft Foods Group, which merged with Heinz in 2015 to establish the third largest food and beverage company in North America. Warren Buffett was also a vocal supporter of Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, whom he'd endorsed in 2015. He also questioned the Republican nominee, Donald Trump, to meet and share their tax returns. Buffett said at an August 1st rally in Omaha, I will meet him in Omaha or Mar-a-Lago or he can pick the place anytime between now and election. I'll bring my return and he'll bring his return. We're both under audit and believe me, nobody's going to stop us from talking about what's on those returns. This offer got turned down, though Trump's refusal to share his returns eventually did not impede his election to the presidency in 2016. As for his philanthropic course, a report by USA Today revealed that from 2006 to 2017, Buffett gave away close to $28 billion in charity. As for his personal life, Warren Buffett in 2006, at age 76, married his longtime partner Astrid Minks. Before this, he was married for the first time to Susan Thompson. His marriage to Susan lasted from 1952 until she sadly passed away in 2004. However, the couple were separated in the 1970s for undisclosed reasons. 
Warren Buffett's marriage to Susan produced three children, Susan, Howard, and Peter, in that order. Although he never divorced his first wife, he still had a relationship with Astrid Minx for 20 years, which Susan approved before they eventually got married in 2006. This is IQ. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on the bell so you'll get notifications on more of our videos. Thanks for watching.